right, so it's been a long while since I did a Lolita vlog, and I figured I would crank one out today because there's a couple topics I need to discuss really quickly. Um, first off, I want to touch on body line. Um, for the uninitiated, body line is a Japanese brand who has kind of like an ambiguous history in the Lolita community. In the beginning, like when Lolita was first gaining traction here in the United States, I can only speak for the United States, I can't speak for anywhere else. But when they were first gaining traction in the U.S., body line was kind of like the quintessential, I hate this word, I hate using it, but the Ida dress, it was like the lace monster dress. They were the proprietors of the lace monster dress. It was this dress with like a crazy amount of lace on it and it wasn't necessarily the most flattering thing in the world um that lace monster dress is actually based on another company called marbles design so i'm not gonna go as far as to say they were pinching people's designs but their that lace monster dress was inspired by another lolita company named marble um they were marble does kind of gothic stuff and their stuff still kind of tends to be a little heavy, a little overly heavy on the lace. So, I don't know, but, like, it has kind of an in, body line in and of itself has a really ambiguous history in the Lolita community because of the proprietor of body line, Mr. Yan. Now, full disclosure, I have met Mr. Yan. I didn't have any problems, but I knew I wasn't going to have any problems because, um... Part of the thing with Mr. Yan is they did these body line was constantly doing these model searches. And I don't mean to use the air quotes, but come on, let's be real. They were model searches. And it was, I don't know if this is 100% true. And I hate being like, you know, spinning, you know, rumors and spreading rumors and stuff. But it is always assumed that Mr. Yan was looking for a wife during these model searches. I don't know if that's true or not. So, but I did read the rules involved with these modeling contests and they were at best sketchy, at best. At worst, they were like Red Flag City. So you had to be like at least, I do believe one of the rules was you had to be at least 13, able to travel on your own. They would pay for your airfare and stuff. But they wouldn't, like, and they wouldn't put you in, like, a, they would put you in a hotel. And it was, like, pretty much, like, a two-star hotel. And if you if you needed to bring a companion, you could bring a companion, but they were responsible for their own, like, travel and accommodations and all of that stuff. So you also had to work extensively. And when you got there, you were required to be able to fit in their clothes unaltered. So... And, and then it goes into that Venus Angelic Girl, which I really, I'm not getting into that whole thing. You can look that whole crazy saga up if you wish. But then it spirals into that stuff with that Venus Angelic Girl. And then a bunch of other girls just said it, it, it wasn't the most comfortable of working environments. Not, not to mention, I think they had you working crazy, crazy hours. Like, you would have to work pretty much like 15 hours a day. But... I'm sorry, that's just Japanese work ethic. You gonna work, you gonna get, you you doing something, you gonna work, you gonna work. It's it's just a Japanese work ethic. You work like, like as I like to say, a Japanese beaver. You, you don't take a break, you barely get lunch, you eat lunch, you be modeling with a sandwich. They don't like, they don't, it's like, that's just Japanese work ethic. So, you gonna be working. So, and like I said, it, it was just all this weirdness attached to it. And like I said, they have kind of an infamous infamous reputa reputation in the Lolita community because of Mr. Yan. I don't have any personal beef with Mr. Yan. He was nice to me. We had a nice discussion. I told him the truth. I was like, when I got married, I got married in a pair of body line shoes. So he just seemed like, oh, really? That's kind of cool. So, or when I was getting married, because this is before I got married. But, and I did get married in a pair of body line shoes. They were comfortable as shit. I got married in them shoes. And I had those shoes all night with no problem. And they were like a heel. And I can't wear heels for shit. But, um, yeah. So, 
that was what was going on with body line now um where body line comes in today is i had heard a little bit back that body line store in japan and harajuku had closed i went to the harajuku store in 2015 when i was in japan twice and two actually i didn't go the second time because i was disappointed when i went in the summer they were having a sale, but they didn't have anything I particularly wanted in that sale. So it was just kind of like I was there and I looked around, but like they just didn't have anything that was calling out to me like, ooh, I have to have this ooh. So, um, so I didn't go. But apparently from what I understand from looking on the internet, they were like the body line store in Harajuku has closed. And then I heard, like, about a week or two ago, a friend of mine, um, who's a Lolita, and she said, I went to look and see what Bodyline was doing, and the, the website's gone. So, I immediately went to go double check to see if the website was gone. And at that time, it was indeed gone, and there was nothing about Bodyline anywhere. The only place I could pull up Bodyline was something on some shopping service that they use in Japan called Rakuten or Rakuken, something like that. Um, they, Bonnie Line still had a presence with them at that point in time, but they didn't have like a body line online store. Now, that being said, I looked today because I was like, well, let me see what it's talking. I don't know if you can order, but it is indeed up in, oh, hang on, let me turn this break this down it is indeed up and kicking and alive and well as you see so i do not know what the hell is going on currently with body line um i am in the market for new shoes and i always i always say if you don't want to spend an arm and 900 legs for um brand like innocent world has cute shoes um much as i'm anti-ap ap has really cute shoes although ap they had these one i finally got a replica of these shoes they had these shoes with these crowns on them i love i lusted after those shoes for years i finally got my replica of that together and was like yes so and yes i do buy replica shit so you got a problem with it i don't know what to tell you um what else um Baby, the Starshine Bray has really cute shoes. Um, Metamorphosis Tempt to Fill has cute shoes. It, but they're all pricey. You're going to be paying top damn dollar or top damn yen to get some one of those brands of shoes. It, if you're, and, you're not, and you're not too savvy about Etna, and you don't know what Etna is talking. Etna is the Chinese, like, usually they sell replica shoes. Um, but Etna does... Um, they sometimes make their own shoes. You getting in the like some, you want some, some sketchy damn territory. Some of them Edson shoes are real fucking sketchy. <laughs> so you just got to know what you're looking for and, and or be comfortable with, with like wearing some crazy damn shoes. Because Edson like is it, sometimes hit or miss. And actually for the most part, if you stay in there, no need the shoes. It'll be a hit. But like. They're like, I don't know, punk shoes. Them shoes are just horrifying. It, it was it was just not what I was trying to hear and get talked and ill. So, but if you're not too savvy on Etna, which is the most affordable option, you can always get shoes via body line. The problem with body line is though, sometimes body line, like with especially with their shoes, they don't have any good shoe sizes if you have a larger foot. Um, I was a size eight forever, and then I was take, going undergoing IVF treatments last year, and my foot grew by half an inch. So now I'm an eight and a half, which it gets hard to find Jamboree shoes in half sizes. But this is like their selection of shoes if you're not in the know, which you all probably pretty much are. But you never know. There might be somebody like, oh, no, what's happening? I don't know what's going on. What the? Yeah, so I figured I'd share the wealth. Um, I can't vouch for their boots. I've only bought their shoes. Um, I bought these shoes specifically. I purchased those shoes. They're still pretty much very... I've had those shoes for years. 
So, and they've, they're, they're holding up. I gotta admit, their stuff holds up very well. But as long as you're not wearing them, like, every day as, like, regular shoes, your shit should be on point. So, but it appears as though Bodyline is back in business. Like I said, their website is up. This is, today is the 17th of October, 2017. So, as far as I know, their website is up. I just don't know... I haven't tried to order from them yet, so I can't vouch for if you can order from them. But I figure, hey, your website is up. You must be doing something. So there is that. So um, I also wanted to quickly touch on, because I got to do another vlog after this, but this video games. So my best friend was here last week, and I know I promised that we were going to do a vlog together. I don't think she felt exactly comfortable with that, so hence why I'm doing it today. Um, but she did say she was going to try to bring me the simplicity pattern. But when she got to her local Joanne Fabric, they were on sale for 99 cents. And then when she went to go pick up one for me, they were no longer 99 cents. And quite honestly, how much does this nonsense cost on a regular day? $20! $20 for a pair. 20 it's it's technically 20.95. No, just no fucking way a pattern should cost tw $20. 20 damn dollars. Okay, I I'm, I'm going to be upset about this for a bit. $20 for a pattern. You got to be fucking kidding me. There's no way. There's no way I'd ever pay $20 for it. Not unless it was custom made to my specific measurements and I didn't have to cut the shit. $20 for a pattern. I know simplicity is on crack, cranks, whatever the fuck, heroin. They just drugging it up because there is no way I'd pay $20 for a pattern. Any pattern. Like I said, unless it was custom made to fit my exact measurements and I didn't have to cut the patterns out when I got it. They were already pre-cut into pieces. For fucking $20, they should be pre-cut and already in pieces. That's my biggest lamentation with working with patterns. I hate cutting the shit out. <sighs> now that that rage is off my chest. Um, yeah, so. And even, I have to admit, Joann's on their everyday pricing is 40% off. That's still not helping. No damn way. I'm not going to do the math because I can't do math. But no, just no, no. Hell no. There's just no way. I'd even pay 40% off. So I got the pattern in question for 99 cents when they were, they were having like their Halloween or Midnight Madness sale around by me. And I got the, the pattern for like 99 cents, which is apropos because... Fuck that $20 shit. How much is this one? That's... Bullshit. Y'all talking to me. This was... These, these other two are $19.95. This is legit $20... It says $20.95 on here. So that means that joint is $21 with tax. Y'all can suck my... Every kind of part of my dick that I don't... My theoretical dick. So, no. However, <clears throat> getting big on point. So... Now, for years, this was the standard in Simplicity Lolita pattern. That one. This is like some rockabilly mess, but this this one. Um, side note, if you look close up, that material, I have a dress made in that material. So y'all done fuck this material up making this. I don't know what the hell this is. Y'all need to stop. But this was the standard, because it even says a little bit Lolita right there come on now get with me for real though so this is their true lolita pattern this was the pattern that caused all that controversy for rufflecon i did purchase this um actually this is the closest they will ever in my mind get to to doing lolita um the pattern itself seems pretty on point but my argument with this nonsense is beyond the $20 thing is um I don't understand how they reverse engineered this and it only goes up to size 20 like what does this foolishness go up to this one 
one goes up to 24. So why doesn't this one go up to 24? That's my argument with it. I haven't worked with it yet. I haven't even taken it. As you see, it's unopened. I haven't even taken out the um instructions on it yet. Um, yeah, this is the closest they're ever in life going to get to some no leadingness. But yeah, here it is. This is the instructions. That's all the parts to it. Um, I do not know if I want to make a pattern or make a dress from these patterns. I don't make my blouses. I can't. That's too much entertainment for me. I don't fuck with blouses. <laughs> I buy my blouses or, or like make another like take one of my regular everyday blouses and shove them into my lolita pile but i don't make blouses but they do have a blouse pattern with this um yeah this is the controversial pattern that caused all that ruffle con nonsense and this is the the sister pattern to it this is the headdress the bow and the bonnet which they fucking stuck cat ears on you don't see this you don't put cat ears on a bonnet. I don't even know. And the rosettes. Are rosettes still a thing? Because, like, I don't know. We're, are like, I don't know. Like, it, they seem like all the rage, like, three, four years ago. And I haven't really seen. I know they still put rosette patterns on dresses. But I haven't really seen, like, people rocking rosettes like that so i don't even know what in the hell is this cat purse i don't know well whatever so i do have it i will see about probably i might make the bonnet without these stupid damn cat ears why would you put cat ears on there? That don't make a lick of fucking sense. I've never, and I've seen some fucked upness even in brand Lolita, but I've never seen anybody stick cat ears on a bonnet. Simplicity, you need to be punched in the throat. Come on now, you know the fuck better. So, I don't know. Um, For what it is, for what I paid, there's no way I paid $20 for this. Just no fucking, no. Um, I do not know if I'm going to make a dress out of this. I am assuming 19 is, yeah, the skirt front and back. What the fuck is 24? Skirt front and back. I guess, oh, skirt front and back for A is 19. 24 is skirt front and back for pattern B because that's pattern A. And this is pattern D. Honestly, how I make my stuff from Simplicity is I Frankenstein patterns together. I kind of like doing that. It, it It's a skill to like, the true skill though. I took, I think I took two different pattern companies and smushed together. This is when I used to do cosplay. um, And smushed together some shit. So that takes skill. And I don't mind Frankenstein and stuff together. I don't understand these cat ears on this bonnet. That's just fucking me all kinds of up. And what is this cat purse? I've never seen anybody... Oh, simplicity. Just stop. Just stop yourself. And I know y'all ain't reverse engineer this fucking cat purse. Or this bonnet nonsense with these ears on it. That was some nonsense y'all made. Oh, whoop. That's probably how they got away with it. They took somebody's pattern, reverse engineered it, and then stuck some fucking foolishness on it, like damn cat ears, and that's how they were able to get away with it. Oh, simplicity. I am disgusted in, like, it, it's just, I'm just disgusted by this. This is just like, what the fuck are we doing? So, that is all I have. I will try to do another Lolita vlog next week. I want to talk about something, a, a brand that I discovered. And I want to talk about, we're getting into the holiday season. So, you need to get those orders in now for your, so you get some shit on Christmas. And you're not sitting there under the tree like, my stuff didn't come yet, weird. Or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate for the holidays. So, that is all I have for you for your Lolita vlog for today. And I will see y'all again later. Bye.